There is the dress. Huh? She pow. Known as like a thousand. Almost a thousand dollars. Twenty-two thousand. Oh. He wasn't sweet enough for me to spend one thousand dollars on a dress. <laughs> Let's celebrate love today, uh, Woo! I was at this wedding today. The mother has me envelopes with money inside. Please, I can't hear anybody. Let the adventures begin. Hey, see design, see wedding, four seasons. Sit down. Oh my man. Hey. A bit emotional today guys as you can see i'm in a dress i'll give you guys a full view i haven't zipped it up yet but dang karen congratulations i love me a good love story and you and eddie's own is so beautiful how y'all made this work through the pandemic moving back to to um hong kong for love listen i'm running late <laughs> she'll be like dre why were you late for the games well because I was over here vlogging. This is the look, y'all. This is the look. Even this too, I'm not sure the exact name for it, but it's like a shawl, but also has the, the print. I'm gonna end up giving this to my mom because this is what she loves to wear, stuff like this. Yeah, it's gonna go on top. Okay, I need to put my wig on. I'll show you guys when I'm done. I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go. Not that I know it's TikToks when girls are like, get ready with me, I only have five minutes. This is me right now. Ugh. Comes correct. See me back. This design. Hey, China, Hong Kong. Wow, you look so beautiful. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Like Love goddamn. You. Ten over ten. If ten was a person, it would be you. Oh, shit. Yes. Yay. Wow. And Eddie knows that too. Feel my body, you fold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what <laughs> husband and wife. JD sauce. Wow. Wow. When you I will change and leave. Because tell me why I was at this wedding today. The mother has me envelopes with money inside. Not one, not two, but three envelopes with money. You got a rich girl now. Hey. I'm a rich girl. Organize. Every other day I organize. He was talking about Chinese weddings. And everything went according to schedule. It is mind blowing. Because you know now, you know the weddings we go to are Niger weddings. You tell everyone, you know, wedding starts at 9. So people know to be there by 12. But this one, they say 9 is 9 prom. We went to the, we went to first, you know, the family came um, to the bride's house. Which is at the Four Seasons, <laughs> bougie. You know, the family came, the aunties, the uncles, all of them, you know, got served tea by Eddie and um and Karen. As like, you know, they said their blessings to each other. It was so sweet, so cute. Everything was just so punctual. No, no drama, no auntie shouting, ah, you forgot this, nobody fighting, where's my souvenir? Overall, this is a really cool experience to see a different culture and how things are done. And it's just so beautiful how everything has a their significance, you know, from like the tea to the blessing to the jewelry that they exchange and like it was just so beautiful look look open your eyes you see this money is inside <laughs>
from what I understood, this is a red pocket. Um, you put it in there as like a significance of of good fortune, right? Good fortune or blessings, right? So it's like the elders will give it to you, right? So the mom came, she gave me mine. She actually gave me two. So one from the dad, one from the, um, the mom, and then another one from Karen's side of the family. Wedding today is not over. There's still the white wedding they got to do. So for them, they do both the wedding on the same day. Um, so Christine was telling me that if your family is larger, you might be able to do the, the tea ceremony the day before and then the, then the white wedding on the next day. The, um, Eddie's parents and the grandmother would like compliment me like, oh, I love your outfits, love your hair. Like they really appreciated that I appreciated the culture. And that was like my key thing when it came to wearing the chipal because, you know, I wanna, I wanna make sure that I, I really feel like embracing the Chinese culture and I really did that. And I'm just so happy to just be learning and be consumed in this. Cause for me, like, Culture is very big for me. Culture is your identity. Culture is like what you stand for. Culture is what brings people together. Whether you have American culture or Chinese culture or Nigerian culture or you know um, French culture, whatever your culture is, that's something that you can hold on to and it brings people together. And that's what you can be like. You can relate one, with one another. I'm rich and <laughs> let me stop saying that. Like I don't know how, <laughs> how much is in here. <laughs> Y'all gotta know. But um, been cool. So tonight now, oh, one of the really different things is like, they're wearing like, we don't, they don't really drink, everyone is drinking tea, right? Cause it's a tea ceremony. But I'm like, oh yeah, where the alcohol at? Like we're not going to drink, but everything is just me very mellow, very calm, very just like, you know, um, family centric, you know, let me say, say PG. And, but tonight there's open bar. That's when we're going to turn up. Yeah!